She is the love I've been waiting for. The first time I saw her was in the park. My knees almost buckled as we passed each other. She was the most beautiful girl I'd ever seen and I immediately felt two sensations. One, I felt the urge to know everything about her. Two, I felt certain that I'd never see her again. I hate that feeling. It ultimately won. I kept walking. All day though, I wondered where she came from. I've lived in this town for 24 years. Why was this the first time we'd ever passed each other? Was she just here for the day, the week, the month? Did she just move here? Did she move here alone or with a boyfriend? I mean, I could handle the idea of her moving here with a boyfriend for the chance that maybe they'd break up and he'd move back to California, wherever he came from, and she'd decide to stay here because she liked the town. I could handle that, but I couldn't handle the idea of her being here for the first and only time as we passed each other. Over and over in my head, I imagined that day ended differently. I would have stopped her, asked her her name. It would have been something unusual like Kyle, and that would be the start of it. Flash forward years later, and we'd have two kids, both with unusual names like Joao and Fletcher. She would be a good mom. I'd be a good dad. She would have a good job, and I would stay home with the kids. And we'd plan our vacations in Brazil in the kitchen. The next time I saw her was literally the next day, I swear. She was on the beach playing soccer with a friend. I saw her from the boardwalk entrance. I was frozen still. I couldn't believe it. I imagined more of our future together. All the fancy soirees we'd throw at our summer house in Montauk, filled with wine and laughter. Her listening to my favorite song for the first time. Her next to me, me next to her. A soccer ball rolled near me. I picked it up and threw it back to her. She recognized me. I felt flattered. She smiled, and I left. A week later, I saw her again, this time at the train station. We parked near each other. We were even on the same train. I wanted so badly to go up to her, talk to her, but I did nothing. I swear though, the next time I see her, I have to say something, something, something. It's such a strange feeling when a series of coincidences begin to feel not so coincidental. It makes the hair on the back of my neck stick up. It makes my stomach hurt. I think I was on the beach when I realized what was going on. When I saw him looking at us, I froze. My heart pounded. I whispered into Emily's ear, I think that guy's stalking me. She looked at him and asked if we should confront him, but I said no. I was shaking. My adrenaline pumped, and in hindsight I regret not taking her up on her offer. Before the beach it was a coffee shop, the stoplight, the side street, and the park, all in the same week. The park is what should have done it for me, that's when it should have clicked, but I just saw them as coincidences, just coincidences. But the beach is what shook me. I imagined him at night waiting in a car outside my house or worse, on the side of my house watching me change. I change in the dark now, and in the day, away from the windows. I hate him. When I run, I'm motivated to outrun him. I want to buy a weapon and keep it under my bed. I want to carry pepper spray, learn how to box. I want to confront him. I need to confront him. I'm driving myself crazy. I feel so paranoid. The other night, while walking to the train station, he followed me from the parking lot to the platform. I wish he would get hit by a train or move away, or disappear. I swear though, if I see him again, I'm gonna do something about it. 